Hi, and welcome to the Commissioner's Report. I'm your host, Jeff Foley, and I'm joined today by Commissioner Bill Braswell and Dale Henderson, Director of Polk County's Waste and Recycling Division. Thank you for joining me today, guys. Great Thank to be you very here. Much. Dale, it's your first time on the show. It is, and uh, I'm honored. We're excited to have you here. We're going to talk about some trash. All right. <laughs> uh, you've been with us with the county for about six months now. I'd love to know how the job is going so you far. Know, thank you for asking. The time has passed quickly, and I've enjoyed really every second um, of my first six months. So here's what's transpired. You know, the first thing I did is I, I looked, I listened, and I conducted my own assessment of what our needs were, right? And I did that so I could set immediate goals and immediate priorities. Um, that, that was important. It was a fairly quick process. And then what I did is I established personnel goals and I empowered my division staff really to, um, to function autonomously and to knock down the, the paralysis by analysis um, situation that, saying, that we had. <laughs> and, and really it, it paid dividends because my people felt empowered and they, 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 they really, they, they took off and, and started banging these things, banging these priorities down one, one at a time. It was, it was great to see. Um, the next thing I did was I invited key stakeholders to meet with me, to break down barriers, to collaborate. Um, some of those folks included um, our own divisions, like roads and drainage, um, uh, other divisions uh, with, within the county that were, that were critical to our success, um, HR, right? Um, so I, I, I established relationships and broke down those barriers that, that might have existed. Other stakeholders that I met with included our municipal customers, our private customers, and that, that paid off too. So they got to know me, I got to know them, and we established great, great working uh, relationship to, to push forward with. Um, the third thing I did was I established performance standards for all, spe all aspects of what we do. It, you, can't, you, know, you can't measure, or you, you can't really function against what you can't measure, right? So I established uh, performance expectations both internally and externally for our contractors and for our, our own activities. Um, that worked well. And then finally, I made sure that the residents and businesses of Polk County knew how to get a hold of me. I made sure that my information was posted on the website, my phone number, my email address, because was, it was important to me that, that I'm not just uh, a behind the scenes person, that I'm in front, I'm leading, and I'm accessible. So that, uh, that really worked well. So those were the, the first things that I undertook uh, in my first six months. I just want to say to his paralysis by analysis, first time I heard that was from Dale, and I think he hit the nail right on the head. We, we were collecting for years so much data and we did nothing. You know, we looked at it yep. uh, <clears throat> and we worked and we worked and we worked, but it didn't really solve any problems. And his problem solving approach, uh, I really like it. I think he's, he's, he's the right man for the job. I think we've seen that in the community. I know I've heard through the grapevine that you're out at 6.30 in the morning, <laughs> you know, and that you're going to sites where there are issues yeah. occasionally. Um, that's a, it's clearly not your first rodeo at running a company. No, it's, it's interesting. In, the, in uh, the county pickup that, that I operate during the day, there's, there's two tires in the back of it right now that I picked up <laughs> off the roadside the other day. It, it, going out in the community, being, being visible, seeing, what the needs are, it, it makes, it helps me do my job better. And that's one thing I've always done and I'll continue to do. So anybody who's been on our social media pages, on the county social media pages, knows that uh, waste and recycling is always a hot topic. Yes. And I know one of the things that's been on the menu lately <coughs> has been the routine yard waste. Um, Commissioner, can you talk a little bit about what's going on? I know there had been a review of the standards recently. Yeah, I mean, you know, at one point in time, we would anything and everything that you put out front and and it gets abused over time and we had to scale back our haulers they don't appreciate that kind of uh, uh, they don't know what's coming uh, when they go out so but they'll yeah. cover the, sure, the specifics our, our collection program is designed to collect routine generated yard waste from normal maintenance activities at one's property one's one's uh, one's house uh, we're not, you know, we're not designed to be an urban forester, as I like to say, to take the entire, you know, oak tree. Um, and when we, when we bid our collection contracts, that's what we tell our contractors, we are collecting routine generation of yard waste, right? And that's the way we get the best, best service and the best pricing from our contractors. So we have, um, we've done some benchmarking against other, other uh, communities, other counties. Um, 
and we have decided that our program provides the proper service for the average resident in Polk County. Um, if there is a resident who calls us because they generated a large amount of yard waste, maybe through a project or a, a special circumstance, we'll give them information and give them some direction on, on best options for them. That's great. So, Commissioner Braswell, and this is really a question for both of you, I, I know at one point there had been some issues with pickups throughout the county. It was, issues. It was a hot you topic. You call that issues. <laughs> yeah. It was a hot topic. I say that's issues, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, we were getting blasted, phone calls, uh, people were catching me on the street, you know, uh, hey, when are you going to pick up my garbage? Uh, in the last six months, it's, it is night and day. It, it's changed dramatically. I don't know what you did, but um, it, it's so much better. Yeah, we still miss, you know, I don't know what, what percentage, but, uh, but it's nothing like it was. It's, it's, it's a whole lot better. And I, and I think, you know, it's, it's getting the, um, the haulers, you know, maybe, maybe a better relationship, you know, getting them on board, making them want to do a better job, and, and it's worked out very well the last six months. Right, and when I mentioned setting priorities, those priorities, you know, have, have bled over to our haulers as well. So they know exactly what, that what's allowable for missed pickups. They know exactly what my expectations are for recovery. They know what my expectations are to have spare equipment in place. I've met with their senior leadership and uh, both of our contracted haulers set the expectations and we as a group, um, my division holds them accountable on a daily basis. So we monitor how they're performing throughout the day and at the end of the day, we, we demand and receive uh, route completion reports that tell us exactly when they've completed all their, all their routes. If by chance, as the commissioner pointed out, there's a, maybe a truck breaks down, we make sure that the recoveries are done immediately the next day. So it is a, through active management by my entire team that has helped the haulers uh, be as successful as they've been in the past six months. And that was a big policy change. You know, it, we, we began to focus on the recovery. Uh, yeah, we will miss some, but what's important is when we miss it, we can't wait two or three or four days right. to pick it up. It's gotta be picked up the next day. And that's the emphasis and it's, yeah. it's turned out really good. I think it's great news for our residents. I've yeah. got one more question um, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, I, I know that there is a pause in recycling coming in October. Is that still on and what does that mean for residents uh, in terms of what can they do if they still want to recycle? Where the, will their rates change? So the, yes, the pause in recycling is, is, is effective October 1 with our new contracts. And that's the way the contracts uh, were bid and it was done uh, really for financial reasons. Um, until recycling becomes, again, financially viable, uh, we made the decision to take it out of our collection contract package to give our residents the lowest possible cost because it was so expensive, right, to provide curbside recycling uh, in the, given the current markets. Um, we believe that there are private, private haulers that will step up to the plate to offer subscription residential curbside recycling services. Um, and we believe that that'll take some of the pressure off for those folks that really want to recycle. The counties, what we're saying is we're not, we're not giving up on recycling, not by a long shot, but we are pausing the residential curbside collection for this next contract period. And um, I think the markets are gonna change. Uh, hopefully they'll improve. And as technology improves, that will bring uh, other, other resources and other avenues to recycle to bear in our market. And Dale, so you know what the next question though that residents are going to ask is, will my rates change? So the rates, the, the fact that uh, we, we suspended recycling in the current contracts allowed the, 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 ven the vendors to give us the lowest possible cost. So when we calculate the rates for the, for the new contract period, which we will work on shortly, that will be reflected in those rates. So the residents will receive a lower rate as a, as a result of removal of recycl recyclable collection. Now, the overall, the overall rate package um, is, is gonna go up, we know that. But what we're gonna give is the best possible rate that we can give our residents. And it's gonna go up because of the cost of gas, et cetera. The fuel, labor, insurance, everything. labor, yeah. 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 Nothing's parts come and down. so on. Yeah. Um, anything we need to add to the conversation, gentlemen? I think that covers it. Uh, you know, I think it's important to get the message out about the yard waste and the recycling. You know, we get a lot of questions on that, and I'm glad you brought it up, and I'm glad we're covering that. But, no, I, I look forward, uh, uh, especially with uh, the complaints down, it's, it's much more pleasant to talk about trash. That's great. Yeah. The, so, sounds like our waste and recycling is in pretty good hands. The Waste yeah. and Recycling Division is committed to providing world-class services to the residents and businesses of Polk County, and we'll continue that mission. Well, thank you for being here to share that message. I appreciate your time. Thanks, enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Thank you for tuning into the Commissioner's Report. I'm your host, Jeff Foley, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and like our social media.